This is an adventure story exhibiting the prowess of the mighty Amazons who lusts for battle and thirst for war. Hello, I am Fumi Tijani here at Africa in Bold, even Ezra Studios, Morocco, Lagos, Nigeria. Very few people know about the Amazons of Africa. The fierce women warriors from Dahomey. In the mid-19th century, girls and young women in the West African Kingdom of Dahomey were selected from their villages and recruited into the special force of female warriors, otherwise known as the Amazons of Africa. The Amazons were women warriors who were expected to be celibate and were severely punished if found with the person of the other sex. Not only the Amazons, but all women of the royal household were severely segregated from all men but their king. The only time they could be seen by outsiders was on ceremonial occasions. But who were these Amazons? And how did they come to feature so prominently in the Dahomey Egba history? Gezo, the king of Dahomey, watched with some misgivings the establishment of Abeokuta on the edge of Egbado land in 1830 and was even more apprehensive when the Egba welcomed European missionaries in the 1840s. About 50 miles from Lagos, Abeokuta is an extensive town enclosed within the walls, situated in the midst of an immense plain with several detached hills surmounted by huge masses of smooth grey granite. Here is the background of the exciting Amazon. King Gezo, the Dahomey King, 1818 to 1858, residing at Abome, gathered many women warriors to add to his military might. He wanted to expand his kingdom and grow more palm trees with which to trade with the Europeans. He also traded in gold and slaves. He decided to carry out war expeditions and expand Dahomey towards the rich Egbado region. There, he intended to get supplies of captives for his slave market and the supply of palm oil with which to trade with the Europeans. Gezo, the king of Dahomey, gathered many women warriors to add to his military might. In the mid-40s, Gezo had began simultaneously to encourage palm cultivation on his own plantations and those of his officials and to divert slaves from export to plantation labor. At the same time, his army was directed away from the slaving grounds of the north towards securing a hold upon the Yoruba palm belt in Egbado and Egba land. This was the major aim behind the attacks upon Adu in 1844 and Abelkuta in 1851 and 1864. Nous devons abattre Abelkuta. 
There he intended to get supplies of captives for his slave market and the supply of palm oil with which to trade with the Europeans. The ambush shows how the Amazons of Africa were used in the dreaded slave trade that prevailed in the 18th century. Exhibiting the powers of the mighty Amazons who lusts for battle and thirst for war. Another Feminacity production.
Obinrin foju okunrin ri ma bo eyi ma le la le ki o e wa we mo ko